What's going on guys, Dots here, and today I'm bringing you a beginner guide on how to choose your Abyss accessories in Black Desert Online. So I know that might sound a little contradictory, beginners and Abyss accessories, but when I was new and trying to learn how character building and stuff worked in BDO, I always kind of struggled to understand why people were choosing the accessories that they were choosing and wanted to understand. And now that I learned it myself, I want to teach others so that when you see the recommendations made by people in your class discords or people that you're talking to, you can understand why they chose what they chose. And also my goal with this guy is to help you be able to make an informed decision for yourself to choose which accessories you are going to be looking to aim for as you get towards the later parts of the game. Plus, this will just help you understand your stats a little bit more in black desert now like i mentioned in my beginner gear progression guide i'm going to mention some options to you guys today but what accessories you actually run with as your quote bis accessories at end game is going to depend based off of your class how much you like baked in uh like say let's say health accuracy things like that that you have as well as your light zone and artifact choice since that does tie in quite a bit to our uh choice of accessories so discussing what you actually need to consider when you're choosing your accessories there's basically four things you kind of want to think about when you're choosing them um whether or not you're going evasion how much of a priority is getting high health how much accuracy do you have and do you just want to go full ap or do you need a lot of ap from this specific slot those are kind of the big four things that you need to consider now, when it comes to accuracy, that's, I would say, probably the biggest thing I would really consider when it does come to choosing your um, your accessories. You want to aim for a minimum of 850 accuracy when you hit the end game with your eventual build. You can use this website, garmok.com, to plan out your build if you want to. You want to make sure that you hit a bare minimum of 850 accuracy because you're going to need that to be able to kill regular dr players because that's usually about the uh evasion that they will end up having because accuracy counters evasion if you do not have accuracy <clears throat> people will be able to evade your attacks and they will just straight up miss now when it comes to people who actually build into evasion you need 900 or higher to be able to actually hit them 900 is the bare minimum to be able to actually strike somebody who's building into evasion some people build even more but any lower than 900 you'll have trouble killing um those players that build really high evasion so again i would try to aim for between your uh your accessories in your light zones and your uh artifacts you want to try to aim for at least that 900 floor to be able to kill evasion players so with all of that being said what are the options that we have to choose we've i've gone through all the different accessories to show you guys your different options here today and we'll start over here with the earrings so you have typically when you're playing um when you're playing a character in video you have three primary earring choices at the time of recording this video um you have the black distortion earring this is going to be one that you see popularized by a lot of people as you can see the ap on this is absolutely gigantic a 21 ap but you do lose 5 dp and you lose specifically damage reduction when you wear black distortion earrings so the people that are going to typically want to use black distortion earrings are people that are looking to go for glass cannon high ap builds or this is going to be a really good choice for players that build into evasion as when we get to some of the other accessories here that we're going to wear on an evasion character you're going to notice that they do not have a lot of ap so black distortion earrings are really important to give us the damage that we need in those evasion builds to be able to kill players also you lose five damage reduction which as an ap player isn't or as a um as an evasion player isn't a big deal because that's not your primary defensive stat your primary defensive stat is going to be evasion so losing five damage reduction really is not a big deal now if you are lacking accuracy and you feel you need some accuracy that is where dawn earrings are going to come into play as you can see if you look at this this only uh, provides 16 accuracy but if you look at the dawn earring it provides a massive 38 accuracy on top of giving us some stamp but you notice the ap is definitely lower so accuracy here is going to be something really important to uh to get 
you know through these if you feel that you do need it now something to keep in mind too guys when you are building your characters is that you want to make sure you are hitting those upper end dp bracket or ap brackets like the 301 ap 305 ap typically if you go any higher than that you're going to be uh not really getting as much benefit out of your raw ap but that's another thing to consider when you're planning out your end game build and choosing your accuracy accessories is making sure you do hit those upper end ap brackets to make sure you're dealing as much damage as possible possible um but again dons are going to be your choice of accuracy accessory as we can see for the earring a massive 38 accuracy now certain people like me with my nova is going to want to use narkier accessories narkier accessories are the more defensive choice so if you're building a bigger dr build like i do on my suck nova um narkier accessory will be your earring of choice because of the extra 5 dp that it provides unlike the distortion earring which actually removes dp so again more defensive builds will look into narc earrings but those are your three primary earrings you will mostly be looking into now when it comes to your rings we have again similarly to the earrings we have three primary options that i think you would want to look at eye of the ruins ring is a really 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 good ring um because it gives a ton of health it gives 130 health on top of giving a respectable amount of ap and accuracy so if health is a very important thing to your build eye of the ruins is going to be a really good choice now if health isn't as important and you want to squeeze out as much ap as possible we are going to go with tungrad for the ring because it gives an additional ap so again if we this 130 health isn't of the highest priority that's when this extra ap becomes a little bit better you also get a little bit extra bsr gauge if you uh feel that you want that but the main reason you'd want to go tungrad over the eye of the ruins ring is due to that uh singular extra ap now if you do feel for some reason that you also want to get accuracy from your rings or if that's a choice you want to make the accuracy ring of choice is going to be ominous again very similarly to that dawn earring um you know you're going to notice that on the accuracy accessories the ap is a little bit lower because that's what you sacrifice for that extra accuracy while the normal accessories will give 12 this gives a massive 28 although we do not get any additional substats so this would be your accuracy ring if you did choose to go that way um but me personally most of the builds i look to make personally use eye of the ruins but you know these are your three options again most ap is going to be tungrad decent ap with good health is also going to be eye of the ruins and then if you want to go the accuracy route ominous would be your choice now in terms of your necklace we have again i would say three primary categories the accuracy option the evasion option and the ap option in terms of the accuracy option that is going to be the lunar necklace this thing gives a boatload of accuracy 52 accuracy along with 31 ap this is an extremely strong Strong accuracy accessory is going to be the main one i eventually run on my suck nova later on when i'm uh getting to that point but it's a very expensive neck because of how much accuracy it offers but this is going to be your accuracy accessory of choice for the next slot now if you do not need that accuracy what you are going to instead want to potentially look into um if you are playing an evasion build is going to be cecil's as you notice here cecil's gives 13 evasion so this is going to be the main reason we grab it. It helps pad our evasion. Uh, when you do build an evasion build in Black Desert Online, it is something that you have to budget quite a lot for. You need to dedicate a lot of your gear pieces towards evasion, which is why the Cecil's necklace is going to be really important here. Because if you compare that again to like a regular... Um, let's say the the lunar necklace here so you see this is an accuracy accessory and it gives 31 watt ap while the ceaseless necklace only gives 22 so it, again it's a huge ap hit so now you can see why those distortion earrings would be so important for an evasion build so again this is going to give us that 13 evasion we need to help pad our stats now let's say you don't need the accuracy and you're not playing evasion what are your other options here you pretty much got three other options in terms of your earrings or in terms of your necklace that are all really similar you got tungrad here for an extra 20 percent bsr and 35 ap you have the ogre ring which is going to give all again 35 ap and 24 accuracy along with layton's power stone which is also going to give 35 ap 24 accuracy those are going to be your main like ap focus necklaces um eventually in terms of late 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 game you're going to want to go debareka because as you can see it gives 40 ap over the 35 but these are way harder to come by and in a lot more expensive so i would recommend using either tongrad latens or ogre as like a stopgap option until you can eventually afford the giant price tag on the debareka necklace 
Now, guys, when it comes to our final slot, which is going to be the belts, we have four primary options here. Um, we have the Centaur belt, the Centaurus belt. This is going to be, again, your evasion choice, as we can see by looking on the screen here we got that 20 evasion with 20 dp now again something to keep in mind is that usually uh, accessories give mostly offensive stats and you notice this has no ap on it again just showcasing why those distortion earrings are so important um but this literally is here specifically to give us the evasion that we need along with some nice health to let us hit the evasion amounts that we need now if you're not playing evasion but uh you know you want to go for an accuracy belt instead turo's belt is going to be your best choice with a massive 34 accuracy along with giving us 17 ap turo's is a really popular choice for belt again just due to how much accuracy it offers while not really sacrificing too too much ap so Turo's is a great choice for that accuracy accessory now if you do prioritize health kind of similarly to the rings we were talking about eye of the ruins the Voltara eclipse belt is a really good option with 20 ap 12 accuracy and giving us 125 additional health this is going to be your health belt that also gives solid ap but again if you do not need that extra health it's not as much of a priority then the tungrad belt is going to be your choice with the extra singular ap again it's very similar to the dichotomy between the eye of the ruins ring and the tungrad ring tungrad Red will offer that additional AP while sacrificing your health. So guys, really quickly to review before we head out for today's video, your three earring choices for your BIS options are going to be the Narc Ear Accessory for more defensive builds, Distortion Earrings on high uh, on EVA builds or high AP builds, and the Dawn Earrings for your Accuracy option. For your necklace, you're looking at the Revived Lunar Necklace for your Accuracy option, Cecil's Necklace for Evasion, and then either Tungrad, Layton's Power Stone, or Ogre Ring for your AP option until you can eventually afford Debereka. For your belt, you're looking into Centaurus for Evasion, Baltara for Health, health churros for accuracy and tungrad for ap but again um actually you can get a debereka belt as well too eventually um but again very similarly it's extremely expensive you get that extra ap but debereka is an option down the line but i think again similarly to the necklace tungrad is going to be a good stop gap until you can eventually afford that and then finally for the rings guys eye of the ruins for your health option tungrads for your ap and ominous for your accuracy and again when you are deciding on which uh, ac uh accessories you want to use take a look at your accuracy garmoth is a really good calculator for that it's got your um accuracy here on the right you can see total accuracy so you can check to make sure you are hitting that you know 900 ish threshold to make sure that you can hit certain evasion players when they build for that and again, you also have your accessory choices if you are playing evasion or if health is a big priority or if you just want to go full AP monkey. But guys, I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope it cleared up why people choose the best accessories that they choose and why they are the best options. And I hope this kind of cleared up some confusion in regards to those stat choices. If you found this video helpful, I really would appreciate a lot if you left a like on it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And again, like I did say, please remember accessories are very personal choice. So they will depend on your build your character so just to keep that in mind and guys for more bdo beginner guides please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep those notifications on so thank you all so much for stopping by today i do very much appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next video